And here we are Sunday after football practice with Steve Ishmael. Brian Higgins here on uh, Q's TV. And uh, Steve, we're talking to you today not about today's practice, but about one of the all-time Syracuse greats, Marvin Harrison. You share a number. He went into the Pro Football Hall of Fame uh, last night, uh, 20 years after he was drafted here out of Syracuse. What does that mean to a current Q's receiver to see a guy like that get in trend? Um, that means a lot, man. That means the world, man. Growing up, I was a Colts fan. Mm -hmm. I loved the combination with Peyton Man and Marvin Harrison. You know, actually, growing up, he was one of my favorite receivers. Um, he was he was consistent, humble, humble. That's one thing that I really loved about Marvin Harrison. You ain't hear a peep from him. Even when he scored, he didn't even want to celebrate. You know, when I came up here, um, when Coach McDonald recruited me, he asked me what number do I want. And I know that, and I knew that Dwight Freeney and Marvin Harrison came from Syracuse. Mm -hmm. And then I saw that he had number eight, so I was like, "Is number eight available?" And Coach McDonald told me, "Yeah." So I snatched it as soon as possible. It's just, it's just an honor just to even have on this number. You mentioned a lot of the things I think people think of when they think of Marvin's pro career: quiet, consistent, had a catch literally in every game that he ever played. What do you take away from that as you try to base your game after some of the all-time greats? Uh, just his humbleness, man. I mean. I feel like guys like him, he should have been in the Hall of Fame. But you know, I feel like since he had, since he didn't want all the attention and everybody wasn't looking at him like that, he just quietly earned it. You know, I mean, he it was no shortcuts for him. He could, he did everything on a daily basis. He did everything correct. You know, one thing I really modeled my game after is just his humbleness, man. He he was consistent, man, and you didn't hear a peep from him. And I love people like that because you know, when you score a touchdown, everybody be pumped up and they want to mm -hmm. celebrate. But just looking at somebody that's mature and just go 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 along like I'm gonna score again like I, I love that mindset and that's one thing that I really respect about him. Yeah Marvin's a guy that had more than 140 catches in one year. <laughs> he always knew the ball was coming back to him yeah. at, at some point. You mentioned wearing the same number as him. Mm -hmm. How important is it to you, it, not just Marvin, but the lineage of uh, great receivers that have come through Syracuse to try to put yourself in that line? Uh, it's just an honor, it's just an honor. You know growing up um, a lot of doubters you know but stay true to myself, stay true to my faith and here I am today and I'm just trusting that I, I hopefully get a chance to be a part of the great receivers that came through Syracuse. You know, um, mm -hmm. Marvin Harrison is just unbelievable, not to mention Mike Williams. But, you know, it's just a, it's just a great, great tradition over here. And um, I'm just thankful to even be a part of this team. All right, Steve, another guy trying to live up here to the great number eight. Uh, good luck to you doing that this season. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's Steve Ishmael the day after Marvin Harrison goes into the Pro Football Hall of Fame.